Today I'm taking a closer look at Trinity Graphics version 3. This is a motion graphics package for Adobe After Effects. It has everything you would ever need and it's at a really reasonable price. So if you're working with a lot of motion graphics or you have a tight deadline or maybe you just don't even like making motion graphics, you want to check this product out. The interface is very intuitive, everything's plug and play, you can really customize to your heart's desire. Just two months ago I reviewed this product, but back then it was in version 1 and it had about a thousand assets. Now it has over 3,700. Uh, the creator has added glitches, sound effects, a bunch of other cool categories. So here on my channel I produce a lot of video tutorials and usually they're long form and I have narration, so I want to create something like a quick tip style tutorial that I could put on social media. So what I've done here is I've done some screen recordings and I put together a little montage. This is a quick tip tutorial that's gonna be around 40 seconds. And I'm gonna use all the assets from Trinity Graphics to really spice it up and make it look cool. As always, if you wanna see more specifics about this product or you wanna purchase it, please follow my affiliate link down in the video description. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm inside of my After Effects project and I have my rough cut here of all of my screen recordings for my quick tip tutorial. So now I wanna use my Trinity Graphics package to really spice this up. So now first I'm gonna to go to Window, Extensions, and select Atom. This is the interface that's gonna allow me to view and apply all the assets from Trinity Graphics. So over here on the left side, I have all my categories of assets. You can see seven right here. If I open one up, it's gonna give me a number of different subcategories. And then if I mouse over one of these assets, it's gonna give me a quick preview. There's an Apply button here. I can add it to my favorites. And then up here we have a number of different tools. We have the customizer toolbar and our favorites, a couple of video tutorials. Now, since I'm not using narration and I'm not gonna be on camera at all, I'm gonna use titles to really show the steps of this tutorial. And there's gonna be about six or seven steps. So I'm gonna have quite a few titles in here. So I'm gonna close this scenes category. I'm gonna open up typography and let's take a look at lower thirds. And then I'm just gonna hit the tilde key and full screen this. And it looks like I've already favorited this one. Okay, I'm gonna exit full screen, and if I click on this favorites button here, you can see it's automatically gonna filter those out. And I have my lower third here. Now to apply it, I need to select my comp here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click the apply button, and that's gonna drop that in right wherever my playhead is. So I need to be kind of aware of that. So I'm gonna drag that back to the beginning because I want it to start right at the beginning of my timeline here. And now you can see that it's animating on so I obviously wanna change the graphics here. So to do that, you know, normally a lot of the times you'd have a control layer that you, you know, I'd have to dive deep down into this pre-comp. But the cool thing about this is I can do everything right here, most everything, unless I need to go a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna hit the customizer button here. And here I have a color palette. So let's take a look at this. It's text color, text color two, and then the, the text box color. I'm gonna go ahead and keep everything at the defaults. Over here I have another tab called Edit Text. I'm gonna click on that, and now I can quickly you know, select my main title. And for the first one, I'm gonna type Create an Ellipse. That's the first step. And I actually need to hit Apply for that to take place. And then I'm gonna grab my text at the top here, and I'm gonna type in Step 1, Apply. And if I go back here to the timeline, you're looking at, and it's a little off, it's not centered. So what I can do is I can go to Window Align, and then I'm gonna go ahead and align that horizontally and vertically and see how that looks. Now actually, I don't want this to be my opening title graphic. I'm gonna have a proper title. So I'm gonna go back to my favorites here, and with the comp selected, I'm just gonna apply another lower third title I'll bring this one to the beginning, and I'm gonna rename that first one, call that step one. And then I'm gonna rename this new one, call it opening title. And I'm gonna turn off step one so I can see what's going on. Now with opening title, I'm gonna click on customizer, and I'm gonna go up to the top text, and I don't need that, so I'm just gonna delete that, click apply, and then I'm gonna grab this text, the main text, and I'll type out quick background in Adobe AE and hit apply. And actually, I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna type in step by step and then hit apply. And you're gonna see the formatting is off. So what I can do here is I can actually click on this edit and viewer and that's gonna launch this pre-comp with the text selected. And now I can go to this specific text element and open up paragraph, let's just center this so you don't want to center it. 
and then I want to increase the letting a little bit and you'll notice the cool thing is is that box is automatically resizing very very cool so now I'm gonna go ahead and close that I don't need to align it because I'm gonna align it on the master comp level so I'm gonna click this here go back to align and then align that and then we should be good to go okay now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat these steps for the next five or six titles so I'm gonna speed through that Okay, now that I've got all my titles created, I'm gonna position them next to their corresponding clips. And then I'm gonna trim them all down. Let me show you something really quickly. Now, each of these has the standard animation in, but they don't have any animation out. And if I were to want to do that, let me just solo this real quickly. If I were to want to do that, I can quickly, I can quickly go over to the toolbar, and then you see these little buttons here. I have timing simple, uh, timing in out and layer reverse time. So if I just hit timing in out, it's going to add these in and out markers and now those animations will last the duration of those markers. And as I move the actual in and out or those markers, that's going to change the speed of those animations. Very, very cool, but I in fact don't need that feature for this particular tutorial because I'm going to throw some transitions in here and I'm not going to have time. It's going to be so fast that these aren't going to have time to animate in and then animate back out. All right, now I wanna add some transitions. So I'm gonna go ahead and de-solo that. And I'm gonna bring my playhead right to this edit point here where we go from uh, make 10 copies to set repeater position to zero. So right now, these are just straight cuts. Looks pretty terrible. So I'm gonna bring the playhead directly over top of that. And I'm gonna go look at some transitions. I have the transitions category here. I'm gonna click on it. And now I have all these subcategories, camera, distortion, uh, fade, minimal, uh, minimal mats. Very cool, I'm gonna look at camera. And now we have the sub subcategories of the spin, spin perspective, slide zooms. And you can see the previews here, it's showing us uh, varying degrees of spin and the direction that, that they're spinning. Whoa, that's way too much. Okay, so let's go and grab this one, 90. So the way I apply this is I need to go down and make sure that my playhead is in the right position where I want the edit point to take place. And I'm gonna select a layer that I want to be just underneath the transition. So the transition is going to be above this and it's going to be applied to everything underneath it. So if I don't want the transition applied to it, I simply bring that layer above it. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to apply and that applies my transition layer here. It shows the point, uh, basically the edit point. And now I can see up here that this is the middle of the transition. And now let's take a look at what this transition is doing. Very, very cool. I'm gonna actually turn this down to quarter res because this is pretty intensive for my for my little computer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to all these different edit points and apply different transitions. So now I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna select the highest layer, I'm gonna to go to spin perspective, maybe we can do like a 180. Well 180 that, and you can see that's applied. Now I'll just go through here and apply it piece by piece, and I can kind of switch these around. Okay, make sure my layer's selected. And maybe if you could think about it beforehand, you want all your layers to go in a specific direction. Like this one is kind of going in the same direction, so I, this one's going from left to right. So maybe I want to go the other direction for this one. Like that way. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do it for the rest of these real quick. Now I'm not really liking the timing here of these titles in the transition, so when the transition is coming in, the title's coming in a little too early and then it does this little animation um, uh, or position animation up. So I'm going to reposition uh, these titles. So I'm basically going to have them come in, you know, right after the transition settling, these will jump up. So maybe something like right here. And I'm re-trimming the tail to make sure that it matches with the next transition. Let me see what this looks like. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for all of these as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good, but I'm, I'm gonna have to actually take a look at it once it's all rendered out at, at full res, and then I'll see if I need to go back and tweak these, retime this. One of the, one of the downsides of having a, a not very powerful computer. All right, got my titles, got my transitions. Now I want to add a couple of sound effects so that at each transition we have some, you know, some kind of um, auditory effect going on. So I'm going to open up sound effects and a couple of different subcategories here, and we have the audio preview as well. So 
so cool. So I'm gonna go with, I'm thinking one of these three categories, whooshes uh, or swipes. I think I like swipes better. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, let's go with some of those. So to do this, I'm just gonna go over here, find an edit point. I'm gonna select this layer, and then I'm gonna click apply. It's gonna put it right over top of it. Now the way I'm gonna position this is I'm gonna hit L twice. That's gonna bring up my waveform, and now I just wanna position that directly over my point. Ah, yes. That adds so much to it. And now, once again, repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, so this is what we've got going here. Um, I've got the titles all applied. I've got the transitions with the point markers on them, and just above those, I have the sound effects. So now I have a few final touches I'd like to add. And first, I'd like to go to the end here and add some social media elements. So here I have social media under elements. I'm gonna full screen this. And you can see there's a ton of different elements to work with here, a variety of different looks. So I'm gonna grab uh, the YouTube channel here, and then I'm gonna go to the very end, all the way down to the bottom, and that's what this last clip is for. It's kind of blurred out. And um, actually, I'm gonna add a animation here. I'm gonna have it uh, slowly fade to black here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this effect. That'll put it right over top. Now I'm gonna go and select this, go up to the customizer, and I'm gonna change the text color to white because we can't see it very well. Select okay. Now it's looking a little bit better. I'm gonna go to edit text. I'm gonna actually turn the resolution back up to full so we can have a better look here. I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel and then I'm gonna just type in my YouTube channel name, Boonlo's Video. I'm gonna apply that. And there we go, all I need to do now is maybe position it, offset it a little bit so that it animates on just a little bit after our transition is complete. Okay, one other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go to the beginning and I don't have a real transition in. So I'm gonna go back to transitions and let's do something like, um, let's do something with a mat here. I have these minimal mats. And let's say we want to use a simple mat, kind of like this. So I'm gonna go to that first clip here and I'm gonna apply that. Okay, my playhead was right at the beginning. So now the edit point is right here. So I'm gonna move this back. And now I'm gonna go to this video layer just below it, and I'm gonna switch the track mat, which actually I need to, I can't see it in the column, I need to go to modes, and then I need to switch this one to alpha mat. I'm gonna hide that again. And now I have my alpha mat transition. And now I have a music track that I'm gonna add here. This is from Premium Beat. I'm gonna just drop this over here, and then I'm gonna hit L to bring up the levels. And I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit. All right, now let's take a look at the final piece. All right, so there you have it. That's Trinity Graphics version three. Very, very cool. Again, there's a lot going on here with this product and it's hard to make a tutorial that shows you everything, but there are a lot of categories and subcategories here. Again, over 3,700 assets that you can quickly use to spice up your next production. If you wanna check out Trinity Graphics, please follow my affiliate link down in the video description. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.